good morning all and welcome to the today's class of the anatomy the class of the anatomy is today on the topic that is called as the epithelium so first we look into the what do you mean by epithelium the epithelium it is a layer of cells which covers the external surface skin or lines the internal surface git respiratory and urogenital tract epithelium means it covers all the layers all the structures of the body okay each layer anything you see you see your skin it is made up of epithelium means each cell will unite together epithel if you see your uh, git which starts from mouth to anal canal all these are made up of layer of cell they are called epithelial cell or you take any part like a, um, respiratory system cardiovascular system urinary system every system you look it is all covered by uh, epithelium layers okay now you look into the next slide what are the function of uh, this epithelial epithelium so one you see the first one it is a protection if i tell you skin if you look into the skin it is made up of many layer of epithelial cell where you see it is exposed to the external surface where there is more of wear and tear so it protects it has to protect from uh, the external injury transport then secretion if you see, see any uh, uh, like thyroid gland it secretes hormone or endocrine gland uh, i tell about pituitary gland or um, this gland or you can see about uh, uh, stomach uh, gall bladder anything they all do secretion okay then comes the excretion what excretion is by mainly by the urinary system if you look they are all done excretion absorption absorption is done by la small and the large intestine where the absorption takes place they are all made up of epithelial cell uh, lubrication then lubricate respiratory system and all you see lubrication sensory sensory is by sensory if you see you know sensory system eyes ear they are all come under skin they all come under sensory system so these are the protection of the epithelium that is protection transport secretion excretion absorption lubrication and sensory this is a basic function of the epithelial tissue next we look into each and everything what are the if you look epithelium there is classification of the epithelium so epithelium is classified into two three part here the first one you see that is called simple what do you mean by word simple here means they are made up of single layer of cell so we call it a simple epithelium next one pseudo stratified that means false then stratified the word tell you stratified means there are many layers of cell so we call it as stratified okay this simple epithelium is divided into three more cl uh, classification they are called as simple squamous simple cuboidal simple columnar okay then come pseudo stratified pseudo stratified epithelium is classified again into two one is called pseudo stratified ciliated and one more is called as pseudo stratified non ciliated epithelium then the next is called stratified stratified is divided into stratified squamous non keratinized stratified squamous keratinized stratified cuboidal stratified columnar and the last one is one more that is the fourth one you can tell that is called a transitional epithelium so learn the classification of the epithelium okay this is how the classification of epithelium is done so in the next figure you can see classification of the epithelial tissue epithelial tissue is classified into two you can see simple and compound simple is like single layer squamous cuboidal columnar and pseudo stratified okay compound is classified into stratified stratified is again classified into stratified squamous there are two types in stratified squamous one is keratinized and one more is non keratinized stratified is again into stratified cuboidal or stratified columnar and one more classification is called as transitional epithelium so learn this all the classification of the epithelium 
so next okay this is how the epithelial cell are there okay simple uh, squamous cuboidal and columna what do you mean by each of this i'll tell you in the next slide okay okay so you can see in this figure see what i have shown you here see in each and every part of the body you can see they are all made up of epithelial tissue see esophagus stomach then comes uh, skin and every region you can see large intestine small everything is all made up of epithelial cell now the first we we'll look into the slide that is simple squamous epithelium what do you mean by simple squamous epithelium see in the figure you can make out irregular flat cell with the height less than width you can make out here the cell where the height is less than the width you can see they are all flat cell you can see in the figure here they are all the flat cell where the height is less than the width they are the simple squamous epithelium okay where they are present okay the main function of these cell are like lubrication they do filtration lubrication in this all this region you can see simple squamous epithelium if i tell you endothelium of blood vessel in cardiovascular system or alveola alveola you see in the respiratory lung in the lung there are alveoli where it does filtration okay loop of henle you have you heard of loop of henle when you do you remember nephron in that loop of henle is there so it is made up of simple squamous epithelium just learn a uh, three to four um, uh, example for it so learn about alveoli loop of lung endothelium of blood vessel pleural and the peritoneal cavities okay these are all made up of simple squamous epithelium okay next slide what do you mean by simple cuboidal epithelium the word will tell you what do you mean by cuboidal you know cube you have heard about cube in cube if you look what do you see in that the length and the breadth of the cube is same they are equal so the same way the simple cuboidal epithelium is also where the height and the width of the cell are equal if you draw a diagram of it you have to remember height and the width of the cell are equal and remember the shape of the nucleus okay the nucleus shape will be rounded it will be round and it will be centrally placed so two fe features you have to remember here one is height and the width of cell are equal and the nucleus is round and centrally placed okay where do you see this type of cell where they do secretion like thyroid follicle okay ducts of the gland like if i see uh, uh, all that uh, endocrine gland there are ducts okay so surface of the ovary ep uh, surface epithelium of the ovary they are all made up of simple cuboidal epithelium so see in this figure you can make out in the figure where the length and the breadth of the cell are equal and you can see the rounded nucleus which are placed centrally so this will tell you the diagram will only tell you how the simple cuboidal epithelium is okay see here function secretion absorption and surface barrier you can see in that mainly secretion it does so this is a histological diagram you are looking you can see clearly the shape of the nucleus here and the location of the nucleus so this is simple cuboidal epithelium next simple columnar epithelium the word columnar if you look columna column where the length is more than its breadth so remember height of the cell is greater than width so length will be more than the width length is more than the width and you see the nucleus the nucleus are elongated and placed towards the base so remember nucleus is elongated okay and it is close to towards the base okay where you see this light of epithelium where they do absorption and all in that region you see simple column like small bronchi and bronchioles uterine tube and efferent ductus of the testis you see this type of epithelium simple columnar epithelium see the function transportation absorption secretion protection so you can see in this diagram whatever i told you can see that the length of the cell is more than its width and can you can see the nucleus right so the nucleus you can make out here they are elongated and those nucleus are placed close to the base okay you can see it placed to the the base so this is about simple columnar epithelium 
see this is a diagram showing you the simple columnar epithelium so in the simple columnar only there are uh, there are one more okay ciliated you can see cilia there so you can see uh, upper surface so simple columnar ciliated epithelium next pseudo stratified columnar epithelium pseudo stratified what do you mean by word pseudo pseudo means false okay they they are false false stratified epithelium when you look they look like stratified epithelium but they are not stratified they are single layer of cells resting on basement membrane they are single layer they are all rest on the basement membrane but you can see in the next uh, point there some cells are shorter and do not reach the lumen like if you see the cells some cell reach the surface of the lumen and some cell are smaller so there it looks like they are air like stratified epithelium but they are not they are single layer of cell with different in the uh, difference in the length of the cell okay while tall cell reach the lumen you can see some cell are shorter and do not reach the lumen while tall cell reach the lumen nuclear of cell therefore lie at different when you look the nucleus because some cell are tall some short so you can see the location of the nucleus they look like they are in at different level this gives high this gives impression of stratification when you look it gives impression stratification so remember pseudo stratified columnar epithelium okay so pseudo stratified there are two classification one is called as pseudo stratified ciliate ciliate mean presence of cilia on the upper surface and non cilia without cilia so where they are present male urethra auditory tube and vas different you see pseudo stratified non ciliated and pseudo -stratified.